presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Last week, you remember, King Voltan received a call from one of Khan's lieutenants, telling him of the plight of Flash, Dale, and Khan, and asking for help. Dr. Zarkoff was at once dispatched with an army and some ray cannon to the rescue of our three friends. In the meantime, Dale and Khan planned to obey all orders so they might get the freedom of the palace and hope to be able to free Flash from the clutches of Queen Azura. For a brief moment, Dale talked with Flash, who, although he didn't recognize her, pitied the beautiful girl chained to the kitchen stoves and promised to ask the queen to free her. Before he could gain Azura's consent, Carl interrupted the conference with the news that the land was being invaded by the Hawkmen. Azura called out the army and asked Flash to be commander-in-chief. This angered Tall, who wanted that distinguished place for himself. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The big Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue the story. Summoned by Azura, legion after legion of blue magic men fall into formation. Flash prepares to assume his new duties as commander-in-chief. Azura, how large is your army? I do not know exactly. Then the first thing to be done is to review the regiment. I must know what strength of armed men I have at my disposal. Very well. Come under this balcony, Flash. From here you will have a good view of the parade ground. Azura, I wish to have your army... Our army, my prince. Our army, pass in review. Will you give the order, please? When I asked you to become commander-in-chief, I gave you full command of the armed forces. Thank you. Carl? Sire. Send word for formation past this balcony. As you command, sire. Serving as your commander-in-chief is a pleasure, Azura, but it is also a great responsibility. Not too great for you, my noble prince. I shall do all in my power to prove worthy of your faith. goes the call to review. See, the first legion is wheeling and starting this way. What a splendid army. We ought to defeat these hawk men, whoever they are. Here comes the finest of them all, the advanced guard. And those coming next, what are they? The light magic artillery. But what are those tremendous objects being pulled by the next legion? Those are the combustion ray machines. Combustion ray machines? What are they for? Wait until you get into action. Your officers will tell you. You are not only a queen of magic, my beautiful one, but you are also a queen of suspense. What legion is this? A sleep gas. Sleep gas. That sounds like a most formidable weapon. And here comes the stone formation legion. And the ones with the cloak? The invisibility legion. And those? The camouflage legion. Who are the ones with the long hair? The animal legion. And those men with the peculiar shield? The transparent wall legion. And those machines coming now? The dissolver gun legion. And still they come. Legion after legion. I've never seen such an army. Have you seen enough, sire? Only about half of our regiment have gone by. If this is only half of the army, Tal, I pity these hawk men when I start the attack. While Flash is looking over his army, Prince Zarkov is in conference with Mar, one of the Hawkmen's officers. We must find out if Flash and Dale and Khan are still alive before we make any rash attacks, Mar. You are quite right, Commander Zarkov. Turn on your spacograph and let us see what we can see. Look, Commander, there's a large rock. It must be the rock which is blocking the entrance of the cave, through which Flash, Dale, and Captain Khan disappeared. We cannot see beyond it. There is only one thing to be done. Blast it out of our way. Shall I order the battery of ray cannon into position? At once. Swing the battery of ray cannon into position. Aim for the rock. I hope we are not too late to save them. Oh, I hope not too. Captain Khan is too good an officer and friend to lose. Ready with the range? They have found the range, Commander. Who may fire? Fire! Look, the rock is spinning. The 
rock is destroyed. Come on. Let us try the spectrograph again. Nothing but haze. The country is well named. Blue Magic Land. Foiled by that witch queen. Mark, there is only one thing left now. And what is that, Commander? Call for a volunteer to go into the territory of the Blue Magic Men and find out the information we wish. Of course. A spy. Commander, I myself will go. No. We cannot spare you, Mark. Send one of the privates. No, Commander. I will not ask any of my men to do what I would not do myself. You are a brave man and a fine officer. I shall speak to King Bhutan about promoting you when I return to his palace. Thank you, Commander. As Dura has thrown up a protective and impenetrable fog against our spacecraft, but we may be able to beat her yet. And how do you propose to do that, Commander? It is simple, simple. Mar, you will disguise yourself as a peddler and gain entrance to the Queen's palace. Well, how? Say that you wish to enter her service. Inside your peddler's pack, you will have a portable space phone. Oh, Commander, you have my utmost admiration. It is the plan of a genius, a super strategist. When you have found out the information we seek, establish contact with me here, and I shall proceed on your report. Very good, Commander. When shall I start on my mission? At once. Commander, I shall give you the information or my life. Next day, Tal is called to the gates of Azura's palace to question a peddler who has asked admittance. Uh, who are you? I am a poor peddler, footsore, weary, and hungry. Uh, I seek shelter, O oh, noble sire. I am Tal, chief magician to Her Majesty, Queen Azura. I bow before you, great Tal. Uh, Almighty oh, wizard, let me enter the service of the queen. You will find in me a zealous neophyte. Uh, you are a peddler. Why are you so anxious to change your profession? I can hardly make a living. Soon I shall have to turn beggar. Let me devote my life to being of some use to the queen. Oh, you, you might be of use. Uh, uh, what is your name? Why, come, come. If you accept me into your household and give me a new life, let me take on a new name also. Let my name die with my path. Oh, very well. I, I will open the gate. Bless you, mighty Tall. Bless you. Oh, now, come this way. I will take you to the kitchen and give you food. Oh, yes. Um, you uh, bring some soup to this man. At once, oh, mighty wizard. Oh, sit down, stranger. Uh, let me take your pack. No, no, no. Well, you needn't take my head off. I wasn't going to steal it. I only intended to have it put in your quarters. I I am grateful, mighty tall. Mm. But all I own is in this bundle, and I should feel lost without it. Here is the... Uh, look out! Look! Don't spill that soup. That would be wasteful when I am so hungry. Yes, yes, you clumsy fool. There must be no waste of the food around here. You know what happened to the girl when she dropped her tray in front of the queen? I ask pardon, Almighty Tall. Uh, it was my anxiety to please that caused my hands to tremble. Uh, see that it does not happen again, slave. Uh, eat your fill, stranger, while I go to find out where Her Majesty wishes me to put you. Smart. Someone may hear you. Oh, you are safe, Captain Khan. Thanks be to Tao. Yes. What are you doing here? How did you get here? Where are the rest of our men? One question at a time, Captain. I was sent here by Prince Zarkov to find out what happened to you and Flash and Dale. Where are the other two? Dale is at the other end of the kitchen, chained to the stove. And Flash... He is not... No, he isn't dead. Oh. But drugged. He doesn't recognize either Dale or me. Azura has cast a spell over him. Oh, if I were only free... Don't curse your face, Captain Tom. I'm here to help bring aid. How can you? Once you get in here, they never let you out. I don't need to get out in order to bring aid. What? What do you mean? In this bundle, I have a portable space phone. Ah. Over it, I'm going to report to Zarkov everything I find out. Then hurry and send a message. Tell him we are alive and that he must come quickly. They seem to be mobilizing the army for an attack. Well, where can I go to send it? Tal may come back any minute. Let us go where Dale is. She can watch for Tal's return. We can put the ground wire of the space phone outside the grilled window, and there will be less interference. 
Come along. Where are you two going? The peddler feels faint in this heat. I am helping him to that window yonder where he may get a breath of air. All right. Go ahead. Come on, you slaves. Get to work. Oh, that was a close call, Captain. Yes. We must work fast. Dale. Yes, Tom? What is it? Oh. This, this, this is Captain Moss. He has been sent by Prince Darkoff to find out about us. Oh, Captain Moss, I'm so glad you've come. Are you going to get us out of here? I hope so, Princess. But first I must report to Zarkov by space phone. Dale, go over there as far as your chain will let you. Watch for Tal or the guard. I will watch from here while Mars sets up his machine. At once. The coast is clear. Hurry! Captain Marr calling Prince Zarkov. 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 At the same time, Prince Zarkov, in the far-off kingdom of the Hawkmen, is trying to establish a space phone connection. Zarkov calling Captain Marr. Zarkov calling Captain Marr. No answer, Prince Zarkov. No answer. He should have arrived, and we should have received a report by now. The blue magic men are marching to attack us, Prince Zarkov. Sentry, I just sight of them. Bring me my distance glasses. Here, Prince Zarkov. Ah, I see them. And there's Flash on horseback. They must have tied him on and are using him to bait us into attacking them. Very well, we shall call their bluff. Colonel, order the first company of Lancers to charge. The first Lancers, the greatest flyers in the Hawkmen army, circle to a dizzy height and at a signal from their leader, fold their wings and dive for Azura's army. Down at the head of the armed blue magic men, Flash and Azura watch the diving Hawkmen. Here come the Hawkmen, my twin. I see them, Azura. I'm just wondering which battery I shall train on them. I suggest you use the guns of the combustion ray machine. What will happen if I do? Order them used and see. Very well. Call men, swing the combustion ray guns into action. What is the secret of the great combustion ray machine? Will the gallant Hawkmen under Professor Zarkoff be able to overcome it and rescue Flash Gordon and Dale Arden? In next Sunday's Comic Weekly, which is a part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper, you will find a full-colored picture of the combustion ray machine. Also a thrilling action picture of the Hawkmen in battle formation. See if you can guess how the combustion ray machine works and what will happen to the Hawkmen. And besides Flash Gordon, you'll find all your old friends waiting to entertain you in the Comic Weekly full-color pictures of the merriest funny men and bravest adventurers ever assembled in all picture magazines. Think of it, bringing up Father, the Little King, Polly and her pals, the Captain Yammer Kids, Jungle Jim, Chips and Casper, Barney Google, good old Skippy, Mickey Mouse, and many, many others. Yes, they'll all be there with new pranks and more thrilling adventures to entertain you. For the Comic Weekly is the world's biggest and best pictorial supplement of fun and adventure. So once more, we suggest you get the big comic weekly with your Hearst newspaper next Sunday. Study the Flash Gordon pictures and see if you can guess what will happen when Professor Zarkoff and his gallant Hawkmen come face to face with the combustion ray machine. Be sure to listen for the answer next week at this time when we will present another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. (laughs) 